the meantime, just back in text. This webinar will be live streamed on Facebook. So later on, we will be sharing the link with you. Um, in the event that you have any friends or family members who wish to uh, look at this uh, and join this webinar as well, please feel free to share the link with them. Thank you. We've seen a few participants joining us already. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Once again, thank you for being punctual and joining us for this webinar. We'll start properly in about two minutes' time. Um, and before then, uh, just sit back, relax, and uh, we'll start real soon. Thank you. What keeps you awake at night? What are your hopes and dreams? What if you could plan your life better? At Philip Capital, we understand every client is unique. Your financial needs evolve over time. An Asian integrated financial house with global operations. We are well versed to address your needs and make your investment journey smoother. Our humble beginnings as a broker in Singapore began in 1975. Today, with more than 5,000 employees across the globe, we serve retail and high net worth individuals, family offices, corporate and institutional customers. Over 1 million clients and trust Philip Capital with more than US $35 billion in assets under management. Philip Capital was the first to bring online trading platform Poems to Singapore retail investors in 1996. Today, with our wide range of trading platforms and mobile apps, including Poems 2.0, you can trade conveniently and gain leveraged access to global futures, forex and bullion. As a strong proponent for investor education, we strive to keep you informed through research reports and charting tools. Seminars and webinars are also regularly held to promote financial literacy. At Philip Capital, we also empower you to monitor your portfolio with MyWealth app. If you lack time to self-monitor, tap on the investment expertise of our professional portfolio managers. 
Our financial advisors will advise you on investment instruments such as equities or mutual funds available across our network offices. Besides investment goals, you may have protection and saving needs. We offer regular savings plans and a wide range of insurance products to protect you and your loved ones. We can also cater to your estate needs in local and international properties through our property consultancy arm. At Philip Capital, we believe in thinking global and acting local. Our Philip Investor Centers and branches across our network offices are strategically located to offer you a one-stop solution to all your financial needs. We provide solutions with API capabilities, online trading, wealth management platform solutions to over 100 financial institutions across the Asia-Pacific region, enabling our B2B partners and their clients the convenience to trade global markets seamlessly. We also provide advisory solutions on corporate finance matters, such as IPO, mezzanine financing and corporate restructuring. With over 45 years of expertise and growth, fueled by our clients' trust, Philip Capital has grown into an integrated financial house with a growing global presence. We seek to continue to listen, understand and to make your investment journey smoother. We are your partner in finance. Hello, good afternoon all. Uh, welcome to our career webinar and thanks for joining us today. We'll be live at Facebook as well. Do invite your friends or family to join us if you think that they might be interested. Okay, well, okay. Today, uh, we have three speakers for today. Along the way, if you have any questions you would like to ask, you can type at the chat. And at the end of the sections, we will also have a Q&A section. I would like to introduce the speakers for today. We have one of our top financial service director, Luis, Nabil, and myself, Kalisha, for partnership team. Okay, Luis Kui is a dual license rep at Philip Security. He graduated from National Universities of Singapore with first class honor. And he is a, a CFA chartered holder as well as a certified financial planner. He has also achieved in TOT in 2021 and 2022. He is currently managing a team of 10 advisors and serving more than 2,005 clients with the assets under advisory for more than 40 million. All right, for now, I will hand over to Luis to share with you more. All right, uh, thank you, Kalesha, for the quick introduction. Uh, welcome, everyone. All right, um, I know today is an afternoon session and I hope uh, it's after lunch, you can stay focused for the next probably an hour. All right, uh, yeah, so this is my uh, background. Okay, uh, I'm a financial services director in Philip. Okay, and today I'm going to share with you uh, five key points and what I think uh, how uh, the future of financial industry will be and how you can stay relevant in this industry. All right, and of course, all these are just my background, and then uh, these are all the awards that I gotten uh, since I, the day I joined Philip. Okay, I joined in 2015. Okay, so later on, you see some of the uh, so called the journey that I've gone through. Right, uh, where I how I grow from uh, zero to where I am today. Right, so these are all the awards that I've gotten uh, since day one. All right, and these are the five key points that I want to share with you in this one hour. Uh, if any question, feel free to type in the chat box. Okay, um, I hope I have some time to cover all at the same time, still answer your question. Okay, but if I can't, uh, I'll show you my contact number at the end of the slide. You can uh, always contact me uh, or even uh, meet up for a coffee session. Okay. So I'll go through with you uh, my advisory career journey and uh, in Philip, okay. And the second point probably is the the top. Uh, I mean the key thing I want to share today, lah. Okay, uh, which is how you can stay relevant in this uh, so called next generation advisory business, okay. And what are the top three secret that I have, and what I think is the top three reward as a top advisor, right? And also uh, I'll so called share a bit about Philip model, okay. Uh, why? I chose Philip to run my advisory business, okay, because we have a unique company business model, which I'll share with you later. And also what the team branding and support uh, as a team level, uh, as a director level, uh, what our team can help you uh, to succeed in this uh, financial advisory career. Okay, so I'll go through with you these five key points. All right. Um, yeah, so number one, okay, my advisory career uh, journey, okay, from uh, 2015. Uh, just like many of you, or probably, you, I mean, I'm not sure whether you're already in the industry or you are not in the industry yet. Uh, when I first graduated from uh, NUS back in 2010, 
I, I never thought of joining this financial advisory industry. Okay, I actually uh, follow my uh, my major, uh, which is engineering. Yeah, I graduated with an engineering degree, and then I I went to uh, engineering firm for four and a half years. Okay, so at the time you can see that actually uh, wearing all these uh, they call uh, overall uh, that go to uh, the production side uh, to build ship. Okay, so I apply all the the, the things I learned in uni, uh, how to uh, you know uh, make sure the structure cannot fail. Uh, how to uh, uh, so-called operate, uh, I mean, uh, uh, build a ship, right, by using all the modeling that I have, okay? So that was how I spent my uh, my, uh, my first career, so-called, okay, four and a half years in engineering industry. Uh, and then, of course, uh, at that time, I actually quite inserted in investment uh, in about personal finance, okay, because when you graduate from school, you also want to know how to grow your money faster, right, rather than sit, sit there and wait for a monthly salary. So I actually learned a lot on my own. Uh, I actually completed all my CFA qualification back in uh, when I still in the uh, engine industry. Uh, and then sometimes I actually wanted to ask, I actually asked myself, okay, because at that time there are so many friends, colleagues, right, uh, asked me, hey, uh, how, how can you help me to invest? Okay, uh, how uh, can you help me to understand more about insurance? Okay, uh, can you tell me more about, uh, you know, which store is good to buy all this? Yeah, so a lot of people actually come to me, ask for financial advice. Right, and actually ask myself, hey, why not I just take a proper license uh, and to become a financial planner, okay? And I actually did that in 2013, okay? I actually posted this uh, so-called sentence in, on my Facebook page. So I become a financial planner, okay, back in 2013, okay? And of course, a lot of my friends commented in this post, okay? Although I'm not very active in social media at that time, right? But a lot of them actually come to comment that, you know, hey, it's should because you, are, you will get a high salary, Right. Uh, I think yes and no. Okay, depending on whether you are successful or not. Uh, some say haven't beaten CFA level three. Okay, I think this is more neutral. Right. But then you can see that there are more and more uh people come and comment. You know, uh, you have a professional job. Why you want to become a salesman? Right. And then the other one say, you know, one more phone number will be in my avoid list. All right. And then you know, there are more and more discussion coming in. You know, and even got one friend, my very close friend, say that you know, if we are going to meet up, better bit before that happen. All right. So you can see that financial planner is not really a glamorous title, right? And even until today, I don't approach so-called my uh, close friend because I don't want them to see me as, you know, I'm selling them something, okay? I'd rather they come to me uh, rather than I go to them, okay? Uh, and this is back in 2013, okay? And only until 2015, okay, I decided, you know, I have to do something I like to do, okay? I cannot listen to others. I cannot allow others to control uh, what I need to do. Okay, and the main inspiration come from this movie called uh, The Pursuit of Happiness. Okay, you can just Google, you can find some, uh, 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 I mean, a recording or whatever, you can watch this video, right, or this movie, right? And there's a sentence actually uh, keep me thinking is, you know, uh, you got a dream, right? You have to protect it, okay? And we feel, when people cannot do something themselves, they are going to tell that they, you cannot do it as well, okay? So if you want to do something, okay, go and get it, okay? Don't listen to others, okay? And there's one more story I never shared with others or most people is uh, on the second day when I joined an engineering firm, right? The, 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 this company, right? Uh, my direct superior actually tell me that, you know, hey, you got first class in engineering degree. Eh? Right? Why not you join a bank? Okay, you will get such high salary, right? That was the second day when I joined an uh, engineering uh, firm, okay? And five years later, when I joined my, uh, in Philip, I hand over my name card to one of my close friends as well. And then you see my the name card, the title of my name card. I got first class honor in engineering degree. And then the friends told me that hey, why don't you join your engineering degree? Why you work in finance degree? Why well, you should be go back to your uh, as, uh the, the, the field that you're expert in, right? You will earn high salary, right? So you can see that you know they are always telling you what they think, okay, but it's not what you want to do, right? So that's why until now I don't really care what the, the rest are talking to me. Okay, I just want to know that I do well in this industry. I am I'm helping people, right? I will I'll be good, right? And yeah, so that's how I how I started. Okay, joined in 1515, joined in 2015, and then career switch from engineering to finance. Uh my concept is very simple. Okay, I know I'm new in this industry back in 2015. I have to work a lot harder than compared to others, I have to learn faster. And also, we are in people misses. I know I need to meet more people. Okay, so my golden rule, even until today, is at least one meeting per day. Okay, and this meeting can meet anyone. Can be your friend, can be your relative, colleague, client, whoever. As long as you meet at least one people or uh, one person per day. Okay, so that's always my golden rule, even until today. Okay, and I have a self and pride mindset. Okay, if you plan to join this industry, you must have a self and pride mindset. 
right? Uh, because your reward is proportional to effort, okay? Uh, if you're thinking to join the industry, it's like building your own business, okay? So you must have the idea of how you want to grow your business, right? Of course, with all the company support, team support, uh, you will do well. Okay, so that, that was how I started. Okay, and then present my business model, I always fo focus on this holistic financial planning. Uh, I mean, I can see that some of them I'm quite familiar, probably you're my friend or my, even some of you are my, probably my colleague or my client, right? And if you go to, if you just Google my name, right, Louis Kui, right, you'll see a website called louisquay.com. Okay, I just started louisquay.com, a website, all right, talk about holistic financial uh, planning. Okay, and my uh, so-called uh, the, the, the motto is always policy financial planning is essential. And even so-called the landing page, right? I always focus about three key planning, insurance planning, investment planning, retirement planning. Okay, I won't just, you know, talk to you about insurance. It must be holistic, all right? Uh, and the good thing is when you do holistic financial planning, uh, your business also grow and able to create multiple sources of income. Okay, and this is my actual income composition last year okay I actually received I don't know maybe seven or eight sources of income okay from all different type of business okay and it's all weather proof okay because you know if you're in the industry you know that hey, this year is not uh, insurance business is not doing well because you know all the power plan uh, return is not as attractive as compared to like fixed the treasury bill this kind of thing right to me it's fine I don't have to force to so-called uh, uh, keep selling those kind of low yield plan okay we have we can do investment for client we can still do insurance for client Right. Yeah. So it's all weatherproof. Right. Uh, and there are certain situations that your investment business will grow faster. There are certain period that insurance business will grow faster. Okay. And as long as I continue to do the same thing, right? Uh, the business is recurring, right? And it's accumulative. Okay. My asset under advisory right now is about 40 million. Uh, when I first started, it's zero. Okay. And then every year I just have to make sure that there's inflow to my uh so-called asset under advisory. Okay, for sure. The, the, the AUA asset under advisory will grow, uh, I mean, uh, after a certain period of time. Okay, and I can tell you five later when I come to a similar webinar like this, you'll probably see about 60 million or 80 million, right? Because you'll always add on to uh, uh, your business, right? So that is uh, the, my current business model, right? Then, of course, the next question that uh, a lot of people ask me is, hey, since you are doing so well, what is your next target? What is your next goal, right? Uh, and in future, or rather, uh, since last year, I actually thought, uh, thinking about uh, doing a team management, okay? Uh, the reason is very simple, okay? Uh, no matter how hard I work, right? How how working I work, how much how many people I meet, I only have 24 hours a day, okay? So I can't really uh, do all this service on my own, okay? Yeah, so to me, when you want to scale our business, there are three dimensions, okay? One is, of course, your effort, okay? And of course, your time, okay? You put in more effort, you spend more time, your business will grow. All right. Uh, if you spend more time on, uh, uh, you know, uh, by doing this uh, two, uh, 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 by, by moving these two uh, as this, right, it will not grow a business. Okay. You need to have something to scale up. Right. Yeah. So that is called time multiplier. Right. I can't do it on my own. I need to have a team to do this. Okay. And also, I want to inspire others to be, uh, uh, you know, do better in their uh, business as well. Lah, okay. I, I hopefully one day I can be a motivation speaker and inspire uh, people to do well in the, in the line of business, okay? And what is important here is not just about getting more and more business, okay? The important things I want to leave behind is a brand, okay? A branding that many people or most people can remember for life, right? Uh, just like today, you want to eat a fast food, you will think about McDonald's, okay? You want to go do grocery, you will think about fair price, okay? If you want to invest, okay, hopefully you think about poems, that's our flagship platform. All right, and in future, hopefully one day, okay, if you talk about financial planning, holistic financial planning, you're thinking about Louis Quay, okay, or, or my team, Louis Quay Financial Center, all right? Yeah, so that is the direction that I want uh, to focus in the future, all right? Yeah, so that is a journey, okay, from 2015 to 2022, okay? I believe things will continue to grow, all right? And I'll continue to uh, have more and more people joining me to uh, as a team, all right? Yeah, so now the second, Key part I want to share, uh, probably the most important key points here is about uh, sharing my view about this next generation advisory business. Okay, what is the next thing that's coming in? All right, we have robo advisor, we have discounted broker, okay, we have so many online forums, right? Uh, comparison website, okay. So, how can we still stay relevant in this industry? Okay, so that is the question that a lot of people ask 
uh, either ask me or ask themselves, how can I continue to stay relevant in this financial advisory industry? Uh, and for Philip, we our chairman, our chairman is very uh, focused on the future, right? I mean, of course, business is doing well, but he always talk about future of financial industry, okay? Uh, and he actually was one quote that he said back in 2020, okay, during COVID period. Uh, he actually said one sentence or one quote that I remember until today, okay? And that is always something that I always, I, I must remember this, okay? Uh, and it's about this, insurance will stay, but insurance agent may not, okay? Everyone will sure need insurance, whether today or 10 years down the road, for sure, people will still need insurance. But whether we will stay or not, I'm not sure, okay? Because insurance agent may not stay. Okay, if you don't add value to your client, they may not get from you, they may just buy online. All right. And also the other one is investment will stay. Okay, everyone will still need to invest. Okay, Inve because inflation is higher than saving rate, for sure we need to invest. Okay. But stockbroker may not. Okay, or investment advisor, financial advisor may not. Okay, because there are so many online platforms offer lower fee, right? Lower cost. Why they want to invest through you. Okay. So that's why this is important, okay, uh, to understand where we are. Okay, uh, and how we can continue to add value to our client, okay, so that they will still continue to stay in this business. All right, and there are a few things I believe in. Okay, and this is one of the slides that I actually share with uh, my the other uh, course. Uh, okay, that one is a paid course. I actually share one this uh, this slide at the beginning of my uh, introduction. Uh, and it's very simple. Okay, a magic formula that we all want to know. Okay, how to grow our business. Okay, and there's only one magic formula. Okay, it's just like if you study physics, this is like your Newton first law, right? Uh, yeah, so it, it's, a, it's a basic formula that we all have to obey, right? Have to follow, okay? And how to grow your business revenue, very simple. Three factors. Number one is number of prospects you meet. How many people you can meet that decide your business revenue. Okay, number two is your conversion rate. Okay, out of 10 people you meet, how many people are you able to convert? That is our second factor. And third factor, which many people may not focus on this, is about the case size. All right? And case size will help if you do holistic financial planning. Because every prospect you meet, if you can convert, you don't convert well, just one insurance plan. You convert your insurance plan, your saving plan, investment plan, your case size will grow. Right? So you need to grow either one of these, or best is you can grow all three. Right? You can improve conversion rate. Right? Uh, you can do more holistic planning right? to increase case size, and you can meet more people then your business revenue definitely will grow. Okay, so it's very simple, okay? The formula is there, okay? But the question is how to meet more people, how to have more prospect, okay? How to increase conversion, okay? I think this one is probably the easiest, uh, okay? Uh, practice more, have more training, more coaching, this one will do well. Case size, you must do more holistic planning. Don't just push for product, okay? Because if you just push for product, you only can close one case, all right? Yeah, so I always use this as a backbone of my business model, all right? Uh, and I also do a yearly review uh, to see how I get my business uh, over the, the period of time, all right? Uh, and I also follow this rule, okay? And some of you may have seen this, uh, may have heard this rule. Uh, it's called 20, 60, 20 rule. Okay? Uh, I mean, of course, a lot of people may say 20, 80 rule, right? Or 80, 20, right? But I use this rule, right? Uh, as, a, as my, uh, to guide me on how I increase uh, number of prospects that I meet, all right? Uh, yeah, so you will sure have 20% yes client, okay? If you're in the financial industry, or even if you're not in the financial industry, for sure, there will be 20% of people that you meet, right? Uh, they will just follow what you say, all right? Those are your die-hard friend, okay? Whatever you say, they will follow, right? And most likely, they are either your existing client or they are referred from the, your existing client because they trust what you say, all right? Uh, these people is good. Uh, it's a most valuable client. Okay, you should do regular review, meet up. Uh, of course, you can do cross selling. Okay, if you if they just have insurance business review, and with the uh, Philip platform, you can cross sell like investment for them, right? And you must show appreciation. Okay, buy them a lunch, you know, uh, a celebration with them, celebrate with them, uh, like Christmas, Chinese New Year, all this. You can do some celebration with them, uh, so that you will continue to engage them, right? So that is your top twenty percent card. Okay, this is good. Okay, but the problem is this is limited, right? I don't know what is your social circle. You can have thousand, you can have hundred, you can have ten, depending on how big is your social circle. Okay, this pie is good. You should appreciate this twenty percent card. Okay, and also there's also the other one is called bottom twenty percent card. 
Okay. Uh, I mean, if you meet a lot, uh, if you meet more and more people, you know, uh, those are we call dormant client or cheapo client or non appreciative client. Okay. Or rather, they call them, they sub DIY. Everything I Google, everything I learn from YouTube, from Facebook, I don't need you. Okay. These type of people, I actually avoid talking to them. I have minimum interaction to them because I know if they do it on their own, my sponsors do it on their own, why they need to talk to me, right? I avoid talking to them so that I avoid the negative energy. Right? Yeah, those are, these are the bottom 20% client. Okay. But what most people or what most advisors miss out is about reaching out the 60% maybe client. And this should be probably the major pool of uh, people that, uh, it, it, that you can meet. Okay. Those 60% maybe client, they are, they are like your stranger. They don't know about you. Or they can just visit your website or maybe your, they, they Google or they go to your Facebook page or they found you. Okay, those are your 60% club. They don't know you yet. They have no, there's no trust between you and them. Okay. And how you approach this 60% club? Because this 60% club is not about 1,000 or 2,000. It's actually in the number of million, you know. Well, because Singapore, we have 5 million people, right? Assuming workforce, maybe, I don't know, 50%, you have 2.5 million. Right, so you cannot do a one-to-one -one, uh, approach, okay? Because you don't know which of this sixty percent clan can become your twenty percent yes clan, right? So you must do a approach call. You must use an approach called mass marketing, okay? For me, I use email marketing. I use social media marketing to reach out to them, okay? And I use an approach called reciprocal marketing. Okay, reciprocal marketing meaning you must give something to them before you ask them for business. Okay, for me, I give free calculator, I give a uh, uh, free content, all right, a uh, uh, value-added service so that they know me, they, they appreciate my service, they come to me. Okay, and of course, there are many retargeting tools all right, that you can always retarget or uh, advertisement or promotion email to them. Okay, and what you want ultimately is to be a key opinion leader, right? Or the other term that people always use is influencer. Okay? Uh, so you want to be an influencer in this financial advisory uh, industry. Okay, so that's why uh, use this, okay, uh, uh, about uh, in terms of your prospecting, right? And 95% of advisor I met, the number one problem is pro prospecting business, okay? It's not about converting or closing, okay? It's really about prospecting, how I can get my prospect, okay? Follow this 20 to 60 rule, all right? Yeah, uh, but now the question is how, okay? You have 20, 60, 20, that's good, okay? But you know, Louis, I know what you mean. Okay, I also want to reach out to sixty percent client. Okay, in the past we all learned this. Okay, or rather, your manager told you to do this traditional method: group show, cold calling, a uh, survey. All right, I never do any single of them. Okay, zero. I did zero. I still can achieve TOT in uh, for the past two years. This year also on track to TOT. My third year TOT. Never do any single one of them because I don't believe this. Okay, anyone. Come to me, Rook Show, come to me and say, do one, do one, do one. Okay. In fact, I bring my, I brought my two years old daughter go to shopping mall. Wow, they want to give balloon to my daughter, two years old daughter. My daughter confronted the balloon from them right now. <laughs> but I told them, do one, do one, do one. Because I worry, uh, the next thing is they know I'm a financial advisor, they'll pay, take back the balloon from my daughter. Right. And then I'll become headline in the newspaper. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I don't think that will work. Okay. I don't think that works. Okay. Uh, if this works for you, continue. Okay. Uh, but I don't think this will work in the future. Okay. Yeah. So what I actually focus on is not about these uh, traditional methods. Okay. Because today, if you go to online, right, any online forum or any groups, uh, I mean, you can actually ask a lot of uh, financial advisory questions. Okay. Like, you know, these are some of the uh, uh, for, uh, so called uh, social media, like Facebook forum. Okay. They actually ask about advice, you know, free advice online. Okay. And even people ask for, well, you know, I'm looking for trusted agent. Wow. Then got 44 co people commented and then got 45 people likes. I don't know how many people will PM this person. All right. But to me, if you are the trusted agent approach them, okay, and there are 44 of them, okay, right? You don't want to be in this 44. Okay. There's no value added, right? Even the person will meet you, you have to compete with the other 44. Okay. So to me, I try to avoid this. Okay. I don't think this will work as well. Okay. They are just asking for free advice. Yeah, I don't believe this, right? Uh, what I believe is the next generation method is more about using value added uh, service, like for example, webinar, right? Every month I run a webinar just to add value to my visitor and stranger, the 60% client, 
Okay, every month my webinar got about 300 to 400 people attend my webinar. Okay, yes, not 300 or 400 people, they are my client, but for sure in the future, they could become one of my clients. Okay, yeah, so I record all this video, right? I do some advertisement on my Facebook page, right? And, and let me challenge you one thing, or right, not a challenge, okay? You just test yourself, okay? Just go and Google your, your name, okay? You just Google Louis Quay. What is the first link appear on the first page of Google? And it must be financial advisory related. Okay, because if not, uh, you are losing something. Okay, so uh, our company, uh, so called, there's a motto, uh, right? Uh, they say that, you know, are you searchable on Google? All right, so just Google your name. What is the first link appear in Google? Because if today you meet any prospect or any prospect want to meet you, right, they'll show Google your name. And if the first few link that not really giving any, uh, showing your, your advisory service or there's no branding in the sense, Right, and when you meet up with them, it's a bit difficult to convert. Okay, but if you Google my name, I think anyone come to me, they Google my name, they know me, they see all the webinar, all the video, all the 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 the, the knowledge I posted online. When I meet them, it's easier to convert, and I can feel that because I can just send them my link before I meet I meet up meet up with them. Okay, they can they can actually have more understanding about me. All right, yeah. So yeah, so this is some of a quick comparison. Why I believe in the uh, next generation method is because. Uh, cold calling, rook show, not locking, all these are in the past, right? Next generation method is using social media marketing, webinar, email marketing, or even SEO, okay? Search engine optimization so that your name appear on the first page of Google, all right? Uh, and to me, it's about branding, okay? Uh, traditional methods, technically, you're just selling products, okay? I don't think any rook show you can do a full financial planning with, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, anyone that come to you, okay? You have to show products, attract them, to sell the products, okay, that is called traditional marketing, right? But in if you use next generation plan uh, methods, you are already doing your branding about financial planning. You are doing financial planning. You are not selling any products, right? Uh, in terms of duration of all this marketing exercise, right? Traditional method is really limited, okay. Depending on how many days of you book for that booth in shopping mall, okay, that is a uh, the limited time that you have. But for next generation methods, it's twenty four by seven. Okay, even like, you know, like, like I'm, I'm talking to you right now, right? Uh, the social media helped me to market my service to others, right? Yeah, and maybe after this webinar, someone will approach me, right? And later I'll show you that, the success example, right? successful example, right? And the approach is more passive. If you're using next generation approach, because you don't have to actively uh, uh, talk to people, they come to you, okay? Uh, in terms of exposure, exposure is like how many people you meet, right? Uh, if you look at the social media method or mass marketing method, it could be few thousand per day count impression. Okay, we use a term called impression. Okay, uh, it's like how many people you reach per day, right? Uh, cost wise, actually, it's quite low cost for online marketing. Okay, it can be just twenty dollars a day to boost up your your campaign or your, your marketing campaign to about few thousand dollars, a few thousand impression per day, right? Uh, and I don't know about the return of investment for your rookshow. Okay, because I have never done anything before, right? But for the the online marketing that I based on the amount I spent since COVID, right, 2020 until now, the amount I spent, right, every dollar I spent based on first year commission, I'm able to recover close to four times, right? So that's the actual result I have, I have okay, from 2020 until 2022, right? So it showed that it worked, right? And it continued to grow my business, right? Yeah. And the other thing is I want to touch on is also about the future of this financial advisory industry is you have to, we have to change our approach, okay? Because if you are looking for year 2022, right? Uh, this is like the baby boomers, Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z kind of uh, uh, composition of people, right? Uh, those are baby boomers. Right now they are age 57 or older, okay? What they need in their insurance, honestly, is just to maintain. Okay, you can't sell insurance for them. Okay, they, are, they probably have some medical condition or premium too high, you cannot sell to them, right? Investment objective for them is more about preservation. Maybe some saving or bond, maybe some annuity plan. Okay, you still can do that kind of service for them, okay? The exposure they have, mainly still newspaper, right? And I'm just surprised, okay, when I, my auntie asked me, hey, can you buy newspaper for me? I said, what newspaper? Why can't you just read from Facebook or internet? <laughs> they still prefer to read newspaper. 
right? So that is the exposure. If you want to target this group of client, you must have your some exposure in uh, uh, the things that they have the exposure, okay? Uh, and of course, if your target audience is uh, about 42 to 56, okay, that is like your Gen X audience. The issue is still, uh, uh, there's still a, uh, some form of a need for them. They could want to top up the insurance because they have new family member or buy a second property. You still can help you to enhance their coverage, okay? Investment for them, they are really, really still doing for growth, okay? Or maybe some income, mixture between equity and bond. Okay, I think that is the main focus, okay? Uh, and what is important is the exposure. Okay, and the exposure mainly, if you ask me, 42, 56, Facebook, YouTube. Okay, you ask them TikTok, Instagram, most of them say don't know. Okay, uh, uh, so that is the main exposure. Okay, and the younger crowd, okay, which I'm actually in this in this uh, Gen Y, la, okay, I'm 36 this year, right? Insurance is our core. We need to have a lot of insurance, okay, because we are still in the working age. We want to cover in the event that we are unable to work, we need to have higher coverage. Okay, investment for us focus on growth, equity, bond, and probably we will touch on a bit of EDF, unit trust, or some robot advisor. Okay, because all these are the new things that uh that this group of people may want to invest in. Okay, main exposure, Facebook, Instagram, maybe some YouTube. Okay, yeah, but these are the main uh thing, uh, main platform that they are, they, are, they are at at the moment. Okay, and of course, those younger crowd. Okay, less than uh, probably they are still in the university, right? Uh, insurance for them is basic. Okay, not much they can buy. In fact, they don't need so much yet. Uh, investment, they are talking about exponential growth. They are, they are not talking about, you know, few percentage. They are not happy with those few percentage. Okay, they are talking about crypto, NFT, robo, right? That kind of, uh, you know, uh, 10, 20% gain kind of things, right? Uh, exposure mainly TikTok and Instagram, okay? Uh, because when I talk to them, you can like my Facebook page. They say I have no Facebook. <laughs> uh, they say I, I'm an Instagram person. All right. Yeah. So, so you must know where is your client. Okay. Uh, but when we want to focus on building our business, right? Uh, our prospecting business, right? We are not talking about this year alone. Okay. You don't want to build a business that can only last for one year. You must be prepared for the next 10 years, next 20 years, and hopefully for the rest of your lifetime. Okay, so when you look at this, uh, in the, you should not just look at 2022. You should fast forward the whole thing to 2032, which is 10 years later. Okay, 10 years later, where will these people, uh, what, what will be the main exposure for these people? All right, and of course, you will have uh, uh, those baby women right now, 67 or older, okay, really can't do much, really. <laughs> Even you approach them or they approach you, can't do anything. Okay, maybe some simple annuity plan, short term CB plan, still possible. But I don't think you can have capture a lot of business from there, lah, right? But your Gen Y people, right? Uh, they become older and older, right? You can see their needs start to change. Insurance for them is more maintenance, right? Uh, they should have more investment exposure. Also a bit different because those younger crowd become older, right? You need to have more present in Facebook, okay? If you target this group of people in ten years time, right? Same thing for the younger crowd. Okay, those uh, Gen Y people become older, right? You need to have some TikTok present, right? So they can still cover, uh, 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 reach out to this uh, group of clients. Okay, and of course, the younger, uh, even younger crowd, uh, of course, you said uh, TikTok, Instagram, all these, uh, right? Yeah. So when you want to build your online present, uh, you should be prepared for the next five years, next 10 years. Okay, don't build something just for this year. Okay, anyway, this year only less. We left with one quarter. Lah. Okay, even if you build something this year, you probably can't get any business from uh, for this year. All right. Yeah. So that's what I want to share. Okay, the future of industry, financial industry that I believe in is no longer traditional methods, it's all using the next generation methods. Okay. And later on, I can show some of the tools that we have in Philip that can help you to achieve this uh future uh the the, the prospecting uh in the future business, right? In the future in, in industry. Okay. Uh, I gone through a bit fast because I don't know how many more slides I need to cover. Right? If you have questions, just feel free to type in the chat box. I'll answer later. All right. Okay. The next thing is about probably the uh the one that I can attract you All right. Uh, so called uh why you want to be in the industry or why you want to join me. All right. Uh, uh, it's about the top three secrets and the top three rewards that I I gotten throughout these seven years of my uh financial advisory industry uh career. Okay. Uh, I, I start with three secrets first. Okay, the top three secrets that I, I use, okay, or rather I, I realized 
that uh, with these three uh, things that I put in into my business, uh, it helped me to grow to my level at this moment. All right. Number one, you should always focus about adding value to your visitor or client. Okay. Uh, and these are all the value added services for whoever come to me, uh, just set up a trading account. Okay. If you know, if you today set up a trading account with me, right? A poem trading account with me, right? Technically, I don't earn any single cents from you. Okay, but it's fine. I know you are with me. You, you want to hear from me. I'll add, I'll give you all these value added services without charging you any single dollars. Okay, so I always add value to you before you become my client. All right. So that's the first thing I believe. You should always add value. Uh, even with the first appointment you meet up with your uh, close prospect, whatever, whoever, you should always add value to them. Okay, don't talk about your product, don't talk about your services, just ask them how can I help you. Right. So that is the first thing I always have in mind to add value. Okay. You add until they cannot reject you. Right? They, they, are, they feel pies they reject you because they feel so much value you give to them. Okay. And if you go to Harbourfront, I'm not sure it's still there, the restaurant, right? There's a one Chinese restaurant in Harbourfront ground, ground floor level, right? And there's this uh, so-called like wallpaper, right? Uh, it's somewhere uh, inside the restaurant, okay? And it's in Chinese, okay? Actually, they, they, when, I, when, I, my, when I have my leader over there, I, I saw this uh, uh, so-called, uh, I don't know what, what this is called, okay? So it's, it's in Chinese, 什么叫生意, right? Uh, you can read the whole thing, okay? Uh, but the most important sentence I think is about Swang Ying. Okay, win win situation, then only there will be a business. Client win in terms they get the value. We will win as well because we get the uh, so called the, the fee, right? So it must be a Swang Ying so that there will be a business. Okay, so in order to have Swang Ying, of course, you must give value to them, then you can get your reward. Okay, so that's always my first belief, right? My, my first secret, right? And second secret, I believe, is really about hard work, right? Uh, of course, hard work is hard work. You don't anyhow work, right? You must work smart, okay? Like for me, I like to use internet marketing, online marketing to help me to reach out to more people, okay? Rather, I talk to every single one that come to me, right? I use the mass approach, right? Uh, and of course, when I first started, I worked seven days a week, okay? Every day when I wake up, it's about business, okay? Until I finish everything, then I go to sleep. And, and continue the same same thing for the next seven days. Okay, there is no no stop for me. No, there is no stopping for me when I first started back in 2015. Okay, and of course along the way when I have family, I have kids. Of course now weekend for me is a uh, really family time. Okay, but if you really want to be successful in this industry, uh, the number two secret I believe in is about hard work. Okay, you might really work a lot harder than your uh, colleague, your peers. Right, then you will be uh, you can differentiate yourself with others. Right, so that's the top, the second secret. The third secret I believe is uh, why I can be at this level today is because I leverage on social media marketing. Okay, uh, I have my all the story online. Okay, uh, whenever I, I do a webinar, technically I'm prospecting three hundred over three hundred over people in one webinar. Right, yeah. So that's why uh, it's a mass marketing methods. Right, yeah. And you know, one day when I visited one of my typical the market near to my house, right? Uh, I like to eat lor mee. La. Okay, so this, this lor mee auntie, right? Uh, near to uh, the, uh, the market near to my house, right? Uh, during COVID time, uh, I, when I go to buy uh, lor mee from this auntie, uh, this auntie say, a boy. Ah. <laughs> he called me a boy. She called me a boy because she's about 60 or I think close to 60 years old. La. Right, and then I'm wearing a mask, so probably it's just, she just thought I'm a young boy. La. So she said, a boy, ah, can you like my Facebook page? What about Facebook page? Ah? Wow. All of a sudden, this law me auntie 60 plus years old, right? Started a Facebook page. Okay, probably if not, she started, probably she's somebody helped her to set up a Facebook page. Okay. But what you can see here is during COVID period, right? They also know how to you know, revamp their business, right? And they move it online. Okay. So how can we as a professional advisor don't have our Facebook page, don't have online presence? Right. So we must have online presence and that is the future. Right. Yeah. So that's why uh, I believe in this. And to me, that actually helped me to grow my business. Okay, later I show you some actual case study. Right. Uh, so when I do all when I do all this is good. Okay. Uh, so what is the rewards? Okay. And of course, number one rewards that of course I can't avoid talking to this is about income is proportional to effort. Okay, you put more effort, your income will multiply. 
Okay, and uh, one of my colleagues asked me, hey, can you tell me how much I earn? <laughs> of course, it's a bit sensitive if I tell you how much I earn, right? But I can give you one multiplier. Okay, I make uh, last year in terms of uh, income per year, it's about 22 times of my first year income when I graduated. All right, so you go and calculate on your own, okay, roughly how much, right? Uh, so anyway, 2015 is a year that I start to become uh, self-employed uh, in, uh, in this financial advisory business, right? And the business actually grow every year. Uh, so yeah, so last year, uh, uh, actually one month income is the same as or more than uh, my first year uh, income in or uh, after I graduate from uni, all right? So yes, it's good, okay, it's good. And of course, money is good, but you we should not focus on just money alone, okay? Money is like fuel for a car, right? Uh, when you want to run a car or when you, run, when you want to run a company or business, you need the money, okay? When you want to run a car, you need the fuel to move. Right? Without fuel, you can't move. The car cannot move. Okay? But you should, not, you should not just focus on the money. You should not just focus on the fuel. Right? You don't buy a car just because you want to consume the fuel. Right? You want to move to a destination. Right? A destination right? Yeah. So same thing when I run this financial advisory business, there is a destination I want to achieve, okay? which is create a brand that everyone can remember and to be a holistic financial planning center that everyone will come to us. That is the destination of uh, my business. Right, so that's number one, the top rewards that I believe uh, that why uh, we are in this industry. Okay, number two is not so much about money, it's really about flexibility that I like. Uh, flexibility in working hours, uh, focus on productivity, you can have more time with family. Okay, if you're a family man, you should know. All right, uh, and uh, flexibility in workplace. Uh, okay, of course, now almost every work also flexible. Uh, right, but uh, yeah, for, for us, we are really can work everywhere. Okay, even like this year, when I back in uh, Malaysia in March for a month, I actually still continue my business as per normal. All right. Uh, flexibility in management. Okay, it's really straight through approval. You're the own boss. Okay, you don't have to you know wait for someone else. You know, uh, you tell you what to do. Okay, if you want to run, if you want to run something, right, just straight away can run as long as you comply with your company compliance. Right, and straight through reporting, you report to yourself. Okay, and number three, which I think we should be focusing on, is about or rather, uh, what I feel the most important is about the sense of fulfillment, okay? Whatever you advise, you provide to your client, right? It direct impact your client, right? Like this is an actual claim that I make for one of my clients, okay? Uh, he was at about 30, I think 33 years old when he bought this multi-pay term plan for me. Premium is less than $1,000, right? So I don't really earn a lot from this client, okay? Uh, but two years now, I wrote, like last year, he actually, uh, last year or year before, he actually told me that he got diagnosed with lymphoma, okay, which is considered late stage cancer, okay? And I told him, don't worry, okay, since many, uh, three years ago, you bought this plan for me, I can claim this for you, okay? And I hand over 450,000 checks to him, right? And he feel very thankful to me. Uh, he feel that he can stop his work. In fact, he actually stopped his work and focus on his recovery. Right, yeah, so there's a sense of fulfillment that I, I get that is not able to get from uh, so called uh, 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 money alone, okay. And the other one is uh, investment, investment client. Uh, and just now she wanted to retire, uh, she, want to, she wanted to retire last year, right? So uh, last year, when I checked her portfolio value, I made 128,000 for her, right, for her retirement portfolio in uh, cash and SRS. Right. So she feel very thankful for me because she, she just have additional 138000 for her retirement fund. Right. And of course, yes, I do have some earning from here of all this uh, advisory fee. All right. But even with all this fee, uh, net of all this fee, she's still getting additional 138000 for her retirement fund. Okay. And she continue to refer many of her friends to me. Right. So there's a sense of fulfillment that uh, we can get it from this business. All right. Uh, Okay, so what is about our unique uh, Philip model? Okay, oh, I realize I only have 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, Philip is we well, started as stockbroker. Okay, and most of us should know us as Poem, stockbroker. They're the first online trading platform uh, is Poem. Okay, but you know, industry has evolved, chairman, company understand that we cannot just be a stockbroker. Okay, we want to be a, a partner in finance, your partner in finance. That is our key things. Okay, we are right now a full service broker and wealth advisory company. It's no longer just stock broker. Okay, we have more than 40,000 products, right? More than 35 insurance partner and more than 200 investor center and uh, fund houses globally, right? 
So think has changed. We are no longer just a stockbroker. Okay, and these are all the services that you can provide to your client. Okay, uh, in Philip, right? Which I think we are one of the most comprehensive product provider, uh, FA firm that you can find. Uh, uh, because mainly, right? Mainly, all these services can split into three channel or three model. Okay, and we have this unique dual license model. Okay, uh, most of you should know about advisory. Okay, whether tight agency or financial advisory, that is called FA, okay, advisory. Okay, so this is one of our key models or key license you can take. Okay, but we also have those transactional license. Okay, like if you come on, if you're coming to buy share or want to buy EDF, you can actually take additional license or we call trading representative license and provide this service to your client. Okay, so we have PR, we have FA. Okay, and some for some of you, you want to manage fund for fund. You want to be a fund manager. We also have a fund manager license. Okay, yeah. So we have these three channel that you can take or uh, uh, and provide to your client. All right. So it's more holistic. We are no longer just an FA. We are no longer just a stock broker. We have all these three uh, in our in your company. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So yeah. So we have TL. We have FA. We have FM. Okay. You can either take TL plus FA. You can take FA plus FN, or can take Oh, no, TR and FM cannot. Okay, you can take either two, right? License in Philip. If you don't want to take two license, it's fine. You still can take one single license and partner with someone else with TR license in the company or in my team, right? We call this as network model, right? You don't want to do everything on your own. You are good in advisory. Continue to do what you do well. But you partner with someone with trading license, partner with someone with farm manager license, right? You still can provide the holistic services for your client. Okay, so there's a unique model that we have uh, in Philip. Okay, and why I believe you should have a dual license is because you can have more added value added services for a client. And with more services you provide your client, your client will stick with you longer. Okay, they won't go to others, right? I mean, like today, if someone buy insurance from you and they want to buy unit trust or they want to buy stocks or EDF, if you can't provide to them, you're under to buy this service for them, they will sure go to someone else. They could come to me, you know. And once they are in my loop, I could, I could cross out other service, you know. All right? Yeah. So you can see that holistic financial services uh, provider, you can actually capture client and stick with you longer. All right? Uh, and also what I shared earlier uh, is also to have a multiple source of income, not just about insurance. All right? You have, uh, and also more independent in the sense, because you don't have to meet client every time you sell insurance, right? There are so many things you can do, right? Yeah. Uh, and of course, to me, it's a net generation business, uh, okay? Uh, and uh, focus on social media marketing. And that is why you can get all the multiple sources of income that you have, okay? And for us, Philip, we actually focus a lot on this social media marketing, okay? Uh, we even have a department in Philip uh, focus on branding and marketing, okay? And this is our entire uh, uh, so-called uh, Client relationship management ecosystem, or we call ECRM system. Okay, uh, you use social media to attract people, okay, to convert them, right, and you close the case, right, and then you delight them to become your promoter. Okay, so from stranger to visitor, where they visit your page, right, become your leads, where you can talk to them. Okay, when you close them, they become your customer, and when you continue to add value to them, they become your promoter. Okay. And a good thing in Philip, we are ready with all this. Okay, we have all the Facebook social media where you can uh, you know, post your article over there. You can, they, they can even do a video for you. All right. Uh, so all these are the uh, system that we have to support you to do this uh, next generation business. Okay, because Poems is, a, uh, is uh, what we, we are the first mover for online stock trading. We also want to be the first mover for all this uh, future advisory business. Okay, uh, yeah, so this is a branding and marketing department that in Philip that help you to do your branding marketing. Okay, uh, of course, depending on how much you want to put in, I mean, uh, how much effort you want to put in. I mean, it can be starter, it can be intermediate or adventurous type. Okay, yeah, so all this, you will have a team or a department in Philip to support you. Okay, uh, and even for Philip, they build a landing page, okay, or rather like uh, like online name card. Okay, uh, if you really, do this on your own, uh, you can spend probably about $1,000 just to build a landing page. 
Okay, but Philip, we do this page for you for free. Okay. Uh, so this is our landing is, is my uh, a profile page on Philip Capital. All right. Uh, and sometimes when I to promote some of my service or I want to write some article or do some video, right? Uh, Philip actually help you to edit the video. You know, the, the branding and marketing department help you to edit the video and post on not typical social media website. They post on Philip Capital official website. And that is a branding that you, that you can leverage on because Philip Capital itself, I think got 20 or 30,000 followers. All right, so 20, or 20, 20 to 30,000 followers will see your video. Where you actually leverage on company uh, branding or company channel, right? So that's what they always emphasize on and they actually encourage us to do all this on the social media, all right? Uh, yeah, so the other thing I always focus is about stop selling and start branding, okay? Whatever you post online, don't sell products, don't sell your service, just do branding, value add to your visitor. Okay, don't talk about conversion. Don't talk about closing anything. Just adding more and more value online. There will be some days they will come to you. All right. Uh, and this is the real business I got online. All right. And this was, I think, a few days ago. All of a sudden, this person, hi, I want to inquire about insurance because he's seen this on my social media website. And I, I didn't close this case, but he already, he already inside my loop. <laughs> Every month, he will see my webinar. I don't know how many months later he'll become my client, but this client, I converted a real case. Okay, and this client, you can see that he actually attended my webinar, uh, I don't know, the earliest, probably February 2021. Oh no, December 2020. Okay, the first time he attended my webinar is December 2020. And he continued to attend my webinar every month. And I even know this person as it in my loop, in my email. Okay, and last week, he talked to me, say, you know, hey, I saw that you have this term plan promotion. I want to get this term plan from you. Then, then I, I then of course he gave my he, he sent email to me. I checked his email and I saw that hey, actually he attended all my email since 2020. Okay, that's why when I meet up to him, right, is is the, the 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 term plan close on the spot. Never ask any question. He just asked me what is the premium, how much is coverage. He said, okay, let's close it. That's that is how I close this term plan with all internet marketing. Okay. Uh, and it's also uh, another example, right? Directly from online business. Yeah, there are more. Like, I just want to want to show you all this. Uh, okay, and also take time for me to <laughs> do all these screenshot because my phone got so many messages to find. All right. Uh, yeah. So the, the last five minutes probably just to uh, follow up with a very quick one. Okay, just five minutes. Uh, I know all this. It, to to most of you, maybe if you are already in doing all this online marketing is good. Okay, I think you you know what I'm talking about. Okay, but I think many of the advisors out there, they still are not really ready in doing this uh, branding and marketing, right? Uh, and also learn how to close case all this, uh, how to improve their prospecting on this, right? So the good thing is for, for me, right? I actually have some team branding and support for our advisor, okay? Uh, this is my team brand, okay? You can actually utilize this team branding when you meet your client, okay? If today your client want to invest with you, they have, they say, I got 30,000 or 50,000. I want to invest with you. Okay, can you tell me what is your track record? How big is your asset under advisory? Okay, you may tell them, I, I mean, I manage $1 million. I, I, I have a, a few years experience. And that's not convincing. But you can tell, you know, I'm in the team that managing or looking after 40 million of asset under advisory. We are servicing more than 2,000 clients. Uh, then it's more convincing convincing, right? The client will trust you, right? Because you are under a team, right? There is a team support uh, 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 that help you to do all this uh, uh, service for a client, right? So that is a team branding that you can leverage on, right? Uh, if you do, uh, in, a, in my team, right? Uh, and team support is in the form of template and model portfolio. Uh, for sure, when meet client, you need some form of presentation. You need to know how to uh, present well, how to, uh, you know, how to close a case. I have all these template, right? And all these template and what I'm actually using for my uh, business, I share with all my team member, right? Yeah, so yeah, so all this you can use because you are, if you're it's not in my team, you can use all these template, okay? Uh, and investment portfolio, currently there's a, uh, my own model portfolio, la, the, the 40 million asset under advisory portfolio. You can copy the whole model, which fund I select, when I rebalance, I will inform you, you do the rebalancing for client as well. Okay, so you actually leverage on the team model portfolio, right? 
and also some uh, uh, template that you can use to upgrade for your client, right? So these are the team support that we have, right? Uh, and also events, sales campaign, right? That term promotion, you do have to draft your own marketing campaign. You do have to draft your own email campaign. I draft the campaign, right? Of course, with some team support. Uh, I mean, some of my advisors have to edit here and there, and then we blast it out. I send you the template, you send to your client, okay? Uh, we also have some quarterly team that we are focusing on. Like for example, coming to quarter four, right? The first thing you must focus on is about SRS. Okay, everyone will talk about SRS. Okay, in fact, today I also received someone talk about SRS, ask me about SRS, right? So SRS is something that you should focus in quarter four this year. Okay, uh, and if you go to Facebook page, uh, in probably next one to or two weeks, you'll see a calculator for me. Okay, a calculator I call it as lead magnet. Okay, so I'll capture those visitors that come to my Facebook, download the calculator, they will be inside my email list. Okay, and that calculator, my team member can use it and send to a client. Okay, uh, and of course now, you know, investment is so volatile. Uh, sometimes uh, advisor may not know what is happening and then how, what should you do, right? So for me, I also have a monthly updates for my advisor, like what is the next three market catalyst that you can use as an open conversation with your client. Okay, because we ask client, hey, uh, I think it's a good time to invest. For sure, client will tell you, you know, hey, now market is very bad, you know, oh, I don't want to invest. Okay, you can just share a quick overview like this slide to your client. And there's, this is like my, my, it is my, I mean, my own view. Like, okay, of course, you can edit a bit, right? But you can just tell them, you know, lower inflation, lower rate hike is the next key catalyst. Uh, accommodative fiscal and monetary policy in China is the next key catalyst. Shift in China, go, zero COVID policy is the next three catalyst. Just draw down these three points your client will want to sit down with you and they want to know how you invest for them, right? And yesterday I just uh, met one uh, client with 500,000 cash. And this, I just shared this key point with her. Okay, she said, I'm very interested. Okay, can you send me more? Uh, that, that is how I open a conversation with this client, right? So all these are inside uh, my team folder where all the advisor can uh, use all this material, okay? Uh, free calculator, like I mentioned, SRS calculator, webinar, okay? Uh, advisor can attend, their client can attend, then they'll just follow up with the client after they attend the webinar, right? Yeah, so this is on the team effort level, team level effort, all right? Uh, yeah, so I will probably just end the presentation with last slide, okay? I know I run a bit fast, okay? Because I got so much more content I want to share with you. It's just that I only have one hour, right? But just to end the, with last the five key things that I think why you should join me. Okay, of course, you can always explore with other firm, other team is fine. But I just want to end with this slide. Okay, five key points. Okay, number one, in Philip, we have fast start program. There's a one month training to help you to understand about company product, uh, operation, or uh, services that you can have. This is one month training. And I'm, I'm one of the key trainers for company. Okay, so if, if you join this training, you'll see me. Like I'm a key trainer in this, this fast start training. I train Philip advisor as well. All right. Yeah, number two, we are holistic approach. You can take two license, all right? Or if you don't want to take two license, you take one license, you have a partner with the other people with other license, then you can provide more holistic approach for your service, okay? And I already have an established and scalable business model, template, model portfolio that you can follow immediately, all right? So that is the key thing that you can have when you join us, right? One-on-one uh, -on -one coaching, Right, of course, I have my team manager with me. Right, uh, we will meet you uh, in person to help you to coach you and see how what what you need to help like, rather than just a normal trading. Okay, uh, ready template you can use presentation presentation material that is always updated uh, according to the current uh, in uh, uh in that uh, if the market will be sent to you as well. All right, yeah. So if you are interested, okay, uh, you can just scan this QR code or use this link. Okay, uh, Nabil, can you help me to type this link, uh, copy this link in the chat box? Okay, because there are, I don't know, 20 of you, all right? Of course, I cannot meet all 20 of you. <laughs> if you want to, want to have a further conversation with me, okay, you just have to let me know you are interested, okay? Uh, we can catch up for coffee, all right? I mean, it's just chit chat. I mean, even eventually you are not joining us, it's fine, okay? We can just chit chat, uh, uh, share ideas, right? Uh, that is how we can move on from here, right? Any question for me? I probably can take one or two questions. Uh, thank you very much for your very beneficial sharing this afternoon, Louis, uh, right after lunchtime. 
um, I guess we can um, put in a nutshell to summarize that um, whether you are new to the industry, a newly licensed representative, or whether you be experienced in the industry and you, if you're thinking of joining Louis, this is uh, a team manager and a financial services director that um, is truly passionate in guiding you uh, so that uh, both you can achieve success together. So, as you can see from all the materials that he's shared and he's made it so easily accessible, um, this is uh, something that he would like to benefit as well as um, to, to get you started on your financial journey or to strengthen your financial journey. So if uh, you've got any questions or have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask them here then write it in the chat box or you can uh, unmute yourself us. And uh, of course, if you don't wish to ask any questions for this session, uh, we've got the QR code right below for you to scan. Uh, at the same time, I've also provided the link in the chat box for you to click on uh, if you wish to uh, contact Luis at your convenience. And yep, this is uh, Luis's contact details uh, for you. And please feel free to do a screenshot, a screen grab, uh, and as well as access the link that I provided below. So yep, uh, we've already uh, we already done with uh, this career webinar, webinar and sharing. Thank you once again, Luis. Uh, thank you, Felicia, and thank you for all the participants who joined us this afternoon. Uh, please, uh, we are going to be keeping the room open for a few more minutes to see if you've got any questions whatsoever. Please, please feel free to ask them and we'll do our best to get them uh, answered. Do you have any questions from the floor? I see Luis has also shared uh, the Facebook page. Yep, it's, it's a page you can check out as well. And uh, of course, uh, you can uh, contact Luis at your convenience if you wish to know more about the schemes that he's uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, as well as the unique dual license that he's mentioned, as well as his team practice and team culture, I'm sure uh, Louis wouldn't mind sharing with you once again uh, in detail. If uh, mentioning earlier on that you know he's actually got a lot more slides to share, but due to time constraints, we have to end it right here. Yeah, but we will still be keeping this room a bit uh, for open for a bit, like one or two minutes. If you have any burning questions to ask. So there are no questions um, in the chat box, um, as well as uh, there are no questions from the participants. Uh, I think uh, we can end the session here. And uh, I hope you've all gotten the, the Louis's details um, and you all can contact him accordingly. Yep. Thank you once again for joining us. Uh, thank you, Louis. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Felicia. Thank you, Felicia. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.